Now then, our next guest, the Queen Park ladies, are a fierce team of female footballers, all under 12, set their sights on the playing in the Boys Football League, and they were faced with a field of sceptics. Uh -huh. But the doubters only made them all the more determined and they went on to win the whole season without losing a single match. So to celebrate, after etching their names into football history, we're very excited to welcome the Invincibles. We have together the Queen Park Woo! ladies. Come on, ladies! In you come. Come and sit come down, on, Olivia. Come, come and sit down. down. In you come, Olivia. in you come. Hello. Good morning, good morning, good morning with Coach Toby. Oh, my goodness, ladies. Congratulations. You were telling me earlier, so you've played 22 matches, you've won 18, drawn the West. Toby, you must be so proud. Yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. Uh, you know, really, really proud of what the girls have achieved. Yeah, fantastic. How did you come to start the team, Toby? So, initially, uh, I've got two daughters. Amelia was my um, eldest daughter. She's 14 now. Um, she got into football, was the only girl in a boys' team. And then her sister, Olivia, wanted to follow in her footsteps. So we were like, OK, we, we know a girl in a boys' team works well. Yeah. Um, you know, could we do potentially a girls' team? Now we've got enough interest in players. Um, but also we know playing against boys is great for development. So th that's pretty much the route we went down when they, you know, some of them were only five years old. Really? They started at five? Yeah. Yeah. Oh so as goodness. a team, the girls have been together for quite a long time now. Yes, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, you know, team players do come and go over a period of time when you've got six sure. years. You know, two yeah. of our best players went on to play for Southampton. They're still there now. Wow. Um, but, yeah, you know, the core four have been together since they were five years old. The core four. Love what, it. What do you think makes them girls so successful? What's the secret of your success? I think it's a combination of things. Um, it's not just one thing. I think, you know, for a start, we started young. Mm. Yeah. Some of them were five, six years of age. I think the girls have shown great hunger and desire to want to play football um, and also I think there's a you know there's no shortcuts in life and that's something we've said all week um, sometimes it's just down to working hard and I think when we look what a at finish we... Sorry, I just got distracted that's a, I don't, who was that who scored that goal that was you was it <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. What a that Before she was in plaster. So, I'm yeah. so easily That's distracted, fine. Toby, sorry. <laughs> fine, no problem. Whenever football comes on the screen, <laughs> I get very, very distracted. It's fine. But, yeah, I guess my point is it's, it's a combination of things, and I think one thing we do at Queen's Park Ladies is we try and train as much as we can, play as many games as we can, just purely because there's no substitute for experience and practice, really. So yeah. we've done a lot. Well done. So, Olivia, you're captain. Yeah. When you started this season, what were the expectations of the team? I think we... Um could win it because we've always played against boys when we were younger. Yeah. Right. And what did you find the boys' reaction was when they were suddenly faced with an all-girl team in their league? Some of them laughed because... Some it, of them laughed? Yeah, they probably underestimated us. They're not laughing right. now. No, absolutely <laughs> not. And, Olivia, do you have to give the team talks before you start playing the football? Like, are you in charge of getting all the girls going? Yes. Um, I think encouraging each other is a really big part of it. Yeah. Because when we go a goal down, we always encourage each other to score another one. Exactly. You can't let your heads drop, can you? Yeah. And tell me, what do the boys think? Like, when you walk onto the football pitch, do they kind of give you a look like, oh, we've got this. This is, this is Millie, no, you're no big you think the boys deal. underestimate you as well? Yeah. I mean, I think if we... We're just as good as them if we think about it. I think you're better than them. Clearly, yeah. you're better than them. You beat them all. What's yeah. been your favourite bit of the season, Maria? Um, me winning like penalty shootouts. You had a penalty shootout along the way as well. So we we there was like three penalties and for the whole season I saved two of them. Well <gasps> done, good penalty how stats. Do you, need that. How do you keep your cool? Because at that moment, all the pressure is on you. So I just like look deep into the eyes and think where. Are they going to shoot? And I just dive to one side. The eyes always give it away, yeah. don't Yeah, do you they? try and psych him out a bit, though, yeah. as well? Do you give him, like, the death stare? Yeah, I give him the mind games. <laughs> I mind love it. Games. Now, look, Erin, we saw you score that brilliant goal. I got very distracted. What have you done? Yes! I broke my tibia. How? Um, trampolining. I was doing a new move and it just... Doing a new move. Toby, are they allowed to trampoline? Is it out of season? They shouldn't be, should they? But, yeah, <laughs> look, look, a lot of the girls do multi-sports, which is great. You know, it's great for their development. So we don't just want to focus on football. We're creating, you know, trying to get all-round athletes and, you know, good eye-hand coordination, balance, yeah. strength and conditioning. So, yeah, you know... Um, are Eric... you going to be fit for next season, though? Aaron. Hopefully, yeah. yeah. Must be. We've got to sign the cast afterwards. And Skylar, from your perspective, what's the best bit about being in a football team with these girls? I think the best thing is just having them, you know, since some, some of the girls have been playing since six years old. So mm. I think just being able to have friends outside of school and stuff is amazing. 
So, would any of you like to play for England at the some Linuses? point? The Linuses? Yeah. 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 They're pretty awesome, aren't they? They are pretty awesome. Erin, you don't want to yet? Uh, Maria, not yet? I'd rather play for Scotland. Oh, you're Scottish, oh, okay. Scot that's allowed. That's, that's allowed. Okay. Erin okay. and Maria. I'm Brazilian. And you're Brazilian. Oh, you can play for Brazil. Yeah. But you don't like to play international football. Yeah. yeah. Well, we've got a message from one of the Lionesses for you. Have a look at this. Hello, everybody at Queen Park Ladies Under 12s football team. I've been reading all about your fantastic achievements this season, and you should be so, so proud. So, yeah, I hope that you get a bit of a rest now because that must have took a lot of work. But keep enjoying your football. That's the main thing. And a massive well done from me. Oh, well That's not done, bad, is guys. It? Thank you to Jill. Thanks, Thank Toby. Thank you, Toby. Good luck next season as well. Okay. It is time for your.